Welcome to our 31-day summer healing crusade. Open your heart to receive today's devotional. Day 12. Today's Bible reading is John 5. A God without limits. Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I'm coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your pallet, and walk. So the Jews were saying to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not permissible for you to carry your pallet. John 5, 7 through 10. The paralyzed man at the pool of Bethsaida believed that God could heal, yet he placed limits on God. Yes, he thought God might be able to heal him, but only after the water was stirred. Only then could a healing take place, and only one person could be healed at a time. He couldn't imagine that God could do anything at any time. This man developed his thinking because of rules imposed by Jewish leaders. These men believed that they knew when and how God would act. Since it was the Sabbath, they concluded that healing was impossible. They enforced their rigid rules on everyone, causing their thinking to be limited. But Jesus wanted them to understand that He had authority in every situation. He wasn't bound by any limit, so He spoke and the paralyzed man was instantly healed. This seemed shocking and inappropriate to the religious authorities, but Jesus had a greater purpose, demonstrating that God was sovereign in every situation. Jesus knows how easy it is for us to be like those Jewish leaders, thinking we have everything figured out and assuming we know what God can and can't do. But Jesus wanted us to realize He has no limits. He can act at any time of His choosing. And He looks for people with the faith to believe in His limitless power. Today, remember there are no problems too big for Jesus. No situations are too hopeless. No obstacles can stand before Him. He is present with you right now. Believe Him for healing, wisdom, direction, whatever you need. Let's say this prayer. Dear Lord, I commit these needs to you. I believe nothing is too big or too hard for you. Thank you for miracles in my life. In your name, amen. Your healing key is don't impose limits on a limitless God. Let me pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for our partners. I thank you for you are a God that is limitless. You, you're, you have no bounds, Lord. You are a healer. You are a provider. You, you save the lost. You heal the sick. God, and I thank you, God, that, that you are a God of love. And Lord, I release your love and your healing and your provision over our partners today, God. I thank you, God, that you know every need. You know every hair in their head, Lord. And I thank you, Father, that you are a God without limits that knows no bounds. God, you created the heavens and the earth, and you hear their cries, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen.